I'm Jason Cromer with ArborGen. I'm a reforestation advisor. So today I'm gonna to be talking about planting density and why it's important. So planting density, also referred to as stocking rate, is the amount of trees that you're gonna put on your site per acre. You wanna think of your end goal of what is your, your final product that you want. If you're thinking pulp, you're probably gonna have a higher planting density because you're not worried about the end product being saw timber or chip and saw. When you have horrible pulp markets, what you wanna do is drop that stocking rate back. Well, it's gonna allow you to get into a higher product class. You may get chip and saw out of the first thinning even, and then you're gonna shoot straight towards saw timber for the end rotation. So historically, planting densities that we've seen in the southeast have been pretty high, as high as 726 to the acre, 726 trees. We've seen that slowly move down towards 605. The reason that we saw such high trees to the acre or your high stocking rates in the past was because there was a lack of genetic improvement. And so with that, they had to plant thicker trees together so that it had like a trainer tree, more or less, to try and keep the loblolly straight. Well, those days have kind of come and gone. Now with genetic improvement with a list of companies, not only just us, you no longer have to plant the high stocking rates that they did back in the day. That change moving down to, let's say even like 454 trees to the acre, you're able to do because the quality is there. And there's some benefits that will come with that as well. The level of planting density with it advanced genetics that should be used nowadays, it can still vary a little bit. Um, There's certain parts that do have a decent pulp market and you'll see some of those individuals stay around 605. What we kind of ideally see people moving towards with the advanced genetics, MCP select and above for sure, is that they're dropping down to like 500 or below. In extreme cases where your pulp market is bad and it's hard to get somebody to come in thin, whether it's in Mississippi or Oklahoma. We're seeing, it may sound unrealistic and it may sound outrageous, but we're seeing companies drop down to the 380s with initial stocking. What, what they're trying to do there is eliminate a thin and also try and get into a better product class on that first thin. There's areas that have the option for canter wood that's a little bit above like chip and saw. And they, they're removing that at literally, no joke, 10 and 11 years old. Carrying capacity is what your site is actually able to support and grow. But essentially with keeping in mind that the carrying capacity is at a certain level, we want to take advantage of that and plant more advanced genetics that have better quality and we can still get there to that carrying capacity of, that a site has with fewer trees nowadays and that benefits you as the landowner because less can be more sometimes and so when we think of that planting fewer trees to the acre or less entries is better for the site overall less compaction you're promoting a healthier stand having fewer trees to the acre creates efficiencies with thinning it also keeps from damaging trees when you're thinning and trying to do removals which then keeps the stand from getting disease in it. Also planting at the lower stocking rates, you're not stressing the trees. You don't have to have the high stocking rates in the past to train these trees, the quality's there. You also have benefits for wildlife with the stands that are opened up a little bit more. You're gonna let a little bit more sunlight through in those early years. And you'll be surprised at how quick these stands, even though we're telling you to plant them at 454 and in extreme cases, lower than that, You'll be very surprised that by year six, how the canopy will actually start to close on some of these. Another benefit that you have is that you're gonna have a higher product class early. You're gonna get into the chip and saw class, even potentially in your first thinnings. When you get into 454 or somewhere in that range, give or take, you're looking at that first thinning coming nine, 11 years old, depending on your area and your soul and what your site can support. So with all this considered, planting fewer trees to the acre can create more value for the landowner in the end. If you wanna talk about the lower stocking rates with MCP and figure out how to increase your revenue and add value to your land base, your reforestation advisor would be more than happy to talk with you and discuss this with you.